What's up, MKDIY here. Today we're gonna make milling table for your drill press. I started by cutting a piece of plywood with my blade set to 45 degrees for tracks. Then I cut another piece of plywood for a base. Now I'm attaching the tracks to the base using wood screws and a washer as a spacer. For movement I adjusted a simple nut by first drilling and tapping the hole on one side. Then I flipped it over and fat it down as much as I could to fit in the base. Here I'm using a chisel to make a slot for the nut. Then I attach the nut to the base using small bolt. Now I'm drilling a hole in the middle of an aluminum piece to create the handle. I later tap that hole to accept the threaded rod. Here I'm drilling a handle on the end. Then I fed through a small bolt and screwed on a coupling nut for grabbing. Here I'm mounting the handle to the threaded rod using a counter nut. Now I'm making bushings for the threaded rod from a coupling nut. I simply went through with a drill bit to get rid of the threads. Then I'm mounting the bushing to the base using piece of sheet metal and four nuts and bolts to tighten it down. Now I'm making slots for a T-bolt to attach the base to the drill press. Here I'm assembling the table. I first dismantled one track from the upper part and laid it in place. Then I used a small drill bit to locate the holes and I screwed the track down. The tracks are working, I had a bit of play there though. Now I'm screwing in the threaded rod. I secured it in place using two nuts on the very end. Finally, I fasten a vise using four big screws. Let's test it. I use this one fluid milling bit, but any router bit you have will work great. It works very well for cutting, but I'm getting a lot of vibrations.
As you can see, I later used the drill for prow feet. Now I'm checking it with a straight edge and I'm surprised how straight the cut actually is. This was pretty easy built, but Geo drill press might protest a little since it's designed to withstand axial, not radial forces. Do you have any drill press hacks? Make sure to share them in comments. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I post two videos every week. And don't forget, get inspired, use what you have and make the best out of it.